some of the more common ones are uh, for younger guys, it can be low testosterone. Uh, for men as they get older, you can obviously deal with uh, problems with erections and impotence. So being a male advocate, I think, is very important. And of course, one of the things we will deal with is prostate cancer, the risk of prostate cancer. And as that, have, uh, as that unfolds, many of us are potentially subject to uh, the risk of prostate cancer. So we have to monitor that and, and diagnose it and treat it and do the things necessary to uh, have a quality of life. The prostate can get cancer, but more commonly, it's going to get enlarged. And one of the things about enlargement of the prostate, uh, sometimes patients come in and say, well, my doctor told me I had an enlarged prostate. That's just a product of life. It, it's globally, every man on earth, the way God put us together, is structured around growth of the prostate. So from one year to the next, it's bigger. It starts at puberty. When testosterone kicks in at high levels, uh, 13, 14, 15 years of age, your prostate starts growing. As it grows, it kind of pinches off the water channel a little bit, and then you start having difficulties with voiding. It's commonplace. It's absolutely a product of just getting old. One of the more common problems in Cookville, I've never seen it such, uh, practiced for over 35 years, and Cookville has uh, undoubtedly the highest uh, population of stone disease. It's, it's incredible up here, the number of people that have stones. And so it's unclear exactly how much of it's genetic. Is it environmental? Uh, is it hard water uh, chemicals? Uh, you know, we, we have a lot of limestone around here in caves and all that kind of business. So is there hard water? My surgical days are almost exclusively stone-related type things, it seems like. Things you can do for that. Uh, is stay hydrated, uh, but more importantly, or as important, actually use lemon. And as a citrus fruit, it has uh, citric acid where it gets its name. Citric acid is converted to citrate in the body, and that's a protector against stone formation. So a lot of times if you're drinking mostly water, you want to put a little a twist of lemon or uh, in there. If you can tolerate Grapefruit juice, that's a good source as well, but a lot of people don't like the bitterness of grapefruit juice.